Hello guys, it's me, Red Diebe Dinosaur, and today in Forza Horizon 5 with the Hyundai Elantra and TCR, one of the new vehicles that was released on this week playlist. Check that you can just get for 20 points. So let's move on to well, what it is basically a Hyundai Elantra and race car. Pretty, pretty cool. It's sponsored by Brian Herta Autosports, a team on IMSA on DC. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm just going to move aside very quickly of, about the aesthetics because when it comes to the performance is when you have to talk more about this car. Well, this car is pretty dominant. And what it, what it does, basically has really good handling. Even when it's a front-wheel drive car, the oversteering doesn't feel it. Actually, you push it even further. It doesn't, it kind of wants it to go even faster and take corners even better. When it comes to compared to the other PCR cars that we're gonna talk in a minute in a comparison, but this car is really really good. Uh, it puts this TCR Mini class in Track Toys A800 into something really really interesting to be on and to actually just see and how it is because we have three cars already and basically you can just make a, li a little competition between these three cars that pretty much are on the same pace but there are small differences that makes it better makes one better than other so like same like the gt3 cars and the gtlm cars that we got a few weeks ago so it's those small little details that makes uh, the Elantra N much better than the Lincoln Co. race car and the MG X Power race car and that's what we're gonna talk. I just tested these three cars in basically a circuit and I just basically did a lap and see what is the best lap that all, the, all these cars can do and yeah pretty much the Elantra and TCR just blow, blows everything due to the handling the handling is the small difference here, as I said. It just pushes, you can actually push it more and more and more and get better results. When it comes to the Lincoln Co., its nearest competitor, it, yes, you have more top speed a bit, and actually you can push the car a bit further to take better corners and all that stuff, but it's not gonna feel very well because you can uh, feel that you're reaching a limit into in you're reaching the limit of the car and that you're gonna start oversteering and you're gonna not take the corners as you wish you're gonna not take the racing line as better as the other car so the Lincoln Co kind of has that limit it has those limitations when you push it further and it shows way more than the Elantra N and the MGX power well I don't know what is up with this car when I drove it. Well, back then when this car released, I didn't make I didn't made a lot of uh, reviews. But this car has quite of a bit of a problem. I don't know why. Like one of the wheels just uh, stops touching the basically stops touching the road and causes a traction problem that is really really odd because you start losing grip and that actually affects the cornering and the handling overall. And even the, the acceleration is really, really weird. This MGX power, uh, about, I don't know what is going on with this MGX power. Maybe it's just a, a tuning setup, but I'm not sure about that because I thought I didn't use tuning setups on those three cars, but this car, especially the X power has this issue with the wheel. Just go, just stop touching the road and basically causing a huge nightmare in its handling. But it was inter it was an interesting thing to do, but it just actually explains why this Elan Triant is very good. It's a really really good platform that you can just take it out for a good circuit racing and actually have really good results. So I really really uh, recommend to get this car. It's, it's pretty cool and basically shows how Hyundai has evolved. Like it's not the same company that. I remember 20 years ago that just made like these really awful shit boxes. Like, like Hyundai is now a really, really good car brand in my opinion, and its evolution has been outstanding in these in these last years. So, really, really cool car. I, I again, I truly recommend to get it. 
and I'm amazed and impressed with this car. So that's pretty much it guys, let me know in the comment section what do you think about the Hyundai Elantra and TCR, if you liked it, if you're not, and all that stuff that you want to comment about the car, I am all ears just to see your, basically just to hear your opinions about it. So yeah guys, thank you very much and see you on the next one. Goodbye.